and welcome back to another video. Now, before we start, I'd just like to mention that this was back at my primary school, and I will be adding names and full disclosure context. And my dog just got on my bed. Anyway, so this happened about during the dawn of COVID recently, or normally. And I was at school, we had a World War II project. And we had to like make something and of course me being lazy as hell I didn't I wasn't able to make anything and I decided to try and take in my um, RC tank and then um, I, well, I've seen, I think this was based around that but yeah and I decided to take that in and then this this girl came up to me, and if you want disclosure for how she looked, she was just common St. George's um, female. She had a, a cardigan, you know, those bloody skirts that they always wore. Just all like that. That fucking hideous hair. And she was black. That's not racist. Saying someone's black is not racist. Alright, let's carry on. And she decides to say, uh, she decides to start like um, playing around with my with, with the controller on my RC tank, and I obviously put the aerial down because I don't want her doing it. And then the teacher assumes that I'm playing with it, and it's like, no, I'm not. She was playing with the aerial on my controller, so I put it down and made sure that she can do it. And then I have to put it um, behind me so that I won't fiddle with it and I'm just thinking fuck off and then after that when I'm trying to put it back on my desk she says that I'm playing with it and I say I'm not I, I'm just trying to put it back on my desk because I didn't do anything with it and you were being a lying bitch and the audacity that kid has oh my god I will give names in a second but she um she went to the teacher with her friend, who was a twin brother. They're both identical. Literally, they they could literally just get away, uh, get away in a crime. Which is a video I'm going to do. Actually, no, I'll link it in with this one. Anyway, so I'm just sat there during class doing my work, a bit, a bit um fucking annoyed because they're being complete knobheads. <laughs> and. I kid you not, she goes up to the teacher and says that I'm playing with my tank and the audacity the teacher has to tell me to put my tank away. I know you shouldn't have stuff like that in class, but it was for my presentation and not only that, but I wasn't doing anything with it. It was a false assumption. So when they, when they all started doing that, I got really frustrated. I went up to the teacher I said what happened and she believed me so I thought that was good and then this she decided that the two twins who are which are in real life um, ta named Tanay and Lite they um, went to the teacher and told her that I um, didn't, that I wanted the school to blow up with the teachers inside it and I said no I didn't, that's false and she said he, he's probably f um, feeling like that because um... Oh, I can't remember the reason now oh because he's angry and I was like well I don't think that I'm not a fucking terrorist and they kept trying to make false assumptions about me and shit like that and I eventually just got to the point where on the last day of school I just didn't go a uh, recent uh, event that happened about a year ago uh, it was in 2020 <coughs> so my friend Nicholas Ball or Nick Ball uh, I'm sure he doesn't mind his YouTube channel being named in here but his YouTube channel was um, oh, what's it called um, Smithy Rocco he was dating one of the twins and I could you not they partnered up in crying because they're basically fucking identical and they just kept going back and forth and back and forth and they just kept stealing money out of him literally there was um he had like a savings jar with a bunch of um pound coins in it and everything and notes 
and he, they decided to have their hand in it while his dad was coming in and they were literally like loading each other's um, bags up with cash and shit to like um, take and then they say they needed to go home after they've stolen all the stuff and basically they were basically just doing GTA heists I know that sounds a bit excessive but like it was it was basically what they were doing they were going undercover they were getting all the money shit like that and it's like mate if I was there I would have fucking taken all the money back and two quartered them down the stairs I would have thrown them down the stairs and yeah so basically after that they stopped talking and whenever they saw each other in public like um the twins saw nick and mum was always like oh yeah go over to him and they always had like this shameful look on them knowing that they stole from him and he has the power of basically twenty thousand sons against them and got they got the power of a chocolate teacup but yeah that's been my uh somewhat school pet peeves along with a little personal um well not personal but a little um thieving story hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll catch you lads and ladies in the next one